Welcome to this course called Essentials of Neuroscience with MATLAB. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of the course, what it involves, and how best to learn from it. So please watch the rest of this video before starting the course proper. This course is a fast track course for getting up to speed with MATLAB programming in the field of neuroscience. It's hands-on and covers immediately applicable topics like data processing, visualization, and statistics. This course is designed for beginners, but to follow the course, you need to have some basic MATLAB proficiency, for example, understanding variables and for loops and basic data visualization. If you do not have a good foundation in basic MATLAB programming, then I can recommend taking the free MathWorks MATLAB on-ramp course. You can find it easily by just searching on the internet for MATLAB on-ramp. All of the topics in this course are focused on projects in neuroscience. So if you are a neuroscientist or are interested in neuroscience, then this course is right for you. Altogether, this course is somewhere around 7 to 15 hours to complete. Now, I realize that's a pretty broad range. If you are only watching the videos and not doing the exercises, then you can get through the entire course in less than seven hours. But each course module has exercises. There are many opportunities for you to pause the video and work through some problems in MATLAB. And so if you do all of the MATLAB work, you take the time to go through all of the code, then the entire course could take you up to 15 hours. This course is organized into five modules that span many different topics in modern neuroscience. In module one, we will work with extracellular spiking data. In module two, we'll do some spectral analysis of human EEG data. Module three is a computational simulation of a neuron. Module four focuses on visualization and statistics of fMRI data. And finally, module five is about image analysis and principal components analysis of calcium imaging data. Now, the course is somewhat cumulative, so I do recommend going through all the modules in order if you have the time. On the other hand, it's also totally fine to pick and choose the modules that are most relevant for your research or your course or summer school program, and you can simply skip the modules that are less relevant. Now, I'd like to say a few words about how to get the most out of this course. Each module has some sample data and MATLAB code that you can download. I'll show you how to do that in a moment. And I definitely recommend having the code open on your computer so you can follow along with me in the videos. I will give you explicit moments to pause the video and try to solve some of the problems in code before I explain the solution. And I recommend pausing the video to work through the code as often as you feel like it not only when I advise you to. Importantly, I want you to see the code for this course as a starting point for exploration and experimentation, not just as some black box product that you simply copy and paste and hope that it works on your data. So here is the URL for this course. Now I'm going to show you how to navigate through the course website and find the materials and videos. So here we are at syncexpress.com slash neuroscience. Now this video right here is the one that you're currently watching. So it would be a little bit self-referential if I started playing this now. Anyway, you can scroll down to where module one starts. So here you see a brief description of what's covered in the module. Here is the link. This button is a link to download the course materials for this module. So before going through the videos of this module, you need to download and unpack this zip file. So here you see it's downloading now. This one happens to be 11 megabytes. So each zip file from each module contains all of the MATLAB code files that you need, possibly some additional M scripts that you need, and importantly, these two M scripts right here. One is called partial and one is called sol, which is short for solutions. Now the idea of this course is that you and I will go through this partially completed code file together during the videos. 
And this code file here contains all of the solutions. So you can look through this code file if you want to, but I encourage you to work with the partially completed code as much as possible. And that is how you're going to maximize your learning. Anyway, here you can see the videos listed in order for this module. So this is video one, video two, and so on. So you can run these videos by clicking the play button or just by clicking anywhere in the video. And you can view this full screen like this. And you can also optionally change the speed if you want to. This is a great aspect of online learning. You can slow down the videos if English isn't a language you're very comfortable with. And you can speed up the videos if you think that will help you absorb the material faster. Now you can keep scrolling down to get to the next module. So you can see module one has six videos. Here's module two. Or you can click on the links on the left and go directly to the different modules. So that's it for the intro to this course. I really enjoyed creating this course in collaboration with MathWorks, and I hope that you find this course to be inspiring and educational.